This video demonstration will walk you through adding additional keystrokes and creating timestamps in your data. Keystroke macros and timestamping are also discussed on page 50 to 51 of the WinWedge Standard Manual and page 57 to 58 of the WinWedge Professional Manual. To start, open up WinWedge. If you already have a configuration that you have been using, please open it now. If not, you may want to first follow the tutorial on setting up WinWedge. Before we add keystrokes and timestamps, WinWedge needs to be in keystrokes mode. Verify this by clicking Mode and making sure the Send to Keystrokes option is checked. Keystroke macros and timestamps are configured in the Input Record Definition Editor. To get to this screen, go to the Define menu and click on Input Data Record Structure. Press the Continue button until the Record Editor appears. You will now see two text boxes titled Record Preamble Keystrokes and Field Postamble Keystrokes. Each of these text boxes will enable you to enter in the additional keystrokes and macros you desire. If you want keystrokes to be entered before the record, you will type them in the Record Preamble Keystrokes box. To insert additional keystrokes after each field, use the Field Postamble Keystrokes box. If you have more than one field defined, Click on the Next Field button until you reach the desired field. Go to the last field to find to insert keystrokes after the entire record. For this tutorial, I will add a timestamp to the beginning of the record and add the necessary keystrokes to tab over after each field and move down to the next row between each record. As you can see here, there are several keywords that are used in creating timestamps. To format your string as a standard date, Type in month, followed by a slash, day, followed by a slash, and year. Remember, each keystroke macro needs to be enclosed in curly brackets. To also add a time, enter hour, colon, minute, colon, second. Since we're entering this into an Excel spreadsheet and we need our date and time separated into two columns, we can add a tab keystroke between our date and time and after the timestamp. In addition to date and timestamping, WinWidge also comes with a full list of keystroke macros that mimic certain keys. Also, just like we did with adding the colons and slashes in the timestamps, we can add any regular keystrokes without any special curly brackets. To add a tab, click on Keystroke List and select the tab. Now you can see we have a tab character between the date and the time and after the timestamp. Now let's add a tab after the first field and then add a down, left, left, and left after the second field. The corresponding keys will be mimicked in Excel just as if you were pressing down the down and left keys yourself. Now let's click OK and save our progress. With Excel open, let's go and activate WinWedge and try to collect a record. Click on the cell in Excel that you wish the data to go into. And as you can see, the date and time are inserted before the actual values.